Here we are given the function f of x is equal to 8x to the third power plus 1, and then we are going to find the inverse function of this. So we are going to follow the four steps. First, we are going to write f of x as y, and then this will stay the same. So we have y equals to 8x to the third power plus 1. And then we are going to interchange the x and y. So this y will become x, and then we will have equal to the 8 stays the same, but then originally we had the x right here, right? This will be y right now, and then raised to the third power, and then plus 1. And then we are going to isolate this new y, and after we isolate this new y, and that will be our answer. So that's c. That's minus 1 on both sides, so that this and that will cancel, and then we are going to have x minus 1, and this is equal to 8 y to the third power. So let me write it down right here, like this. As we can see, we have 8 times y to the third power, therefore we need to divide both sides by 8 first, so that the 8 and then 8 will cancel. And let me just divide the entire left hand side by 8, as follows, like this. A big fraction bar and the 8 on the denominator. And then we are going to have y to the third power, and this will be, let me write it down right here, x minus 1 all over 8. Here we have y to the third power, how can we get rid of the third power? And the answer for that is, we are going to take the cube root on both sides. And keep in mind, when we take the cube on both sides, we don't need to put a plus minus. And then we see that the third power and the cube will cancel each other out. And we will have the y by itself. And we can just say this is equal to, we take the cube of the numerator, but then the x minus 1, that's the only thing we can do. So we're ready as the cube root of x minus 1. Over, we also take the cube root of the denominator, which is the cube root of 8, and that's equal to 2. So you see, we can simplify this expression by taking the cube root on the top and on the bottom. So let me just write it down right here for you guys. I was doing cube root of x minus 1 over the cube root of 8. This is just that, and then the cube root of 8 is just 2. Okay? At the end, this y is exactly what we're looking for, that's the inverse f, and then we will have that expression for the answer, cube root of x minus 1 all over 2. So this right here is the answer. That's it.